Hi resellers, thanks so much for tuning in to today's video. This one promises to be super, super different. It's a collaboration video and believe it or not, it's a collaboration video with 31 other channels. Stick tight. All right guys, so this collaboration video is brought to you actually by Courtney over at Bolo Buddies. She's put together a collaboration that she's titled Vote Auction 99 and it is with me, herself, and I suppose 29 other resellers. Guys, all of these resellers have YouTube channels and we are bringing you not only a pretty cool um, thing to watch, but also a pretty cool way to get involved. This is an interactive challenge in lots of different ways for our audiences here on YouTube and um, I guess over on eBay as well. So here's the premise. There are 31 channels total. We are all going to be presenting to you today at 1130 Eastern Standard Time on, let's see, that would be t Wednesday the 24th. We are all dropping simultaneously right now a video to present to you 10 items that we intend to auction off on eBay for 99 cents with free shipping. 99 cents with free shipping. But here's the catch. We're not going to auction off all 10 items. You're actually going to take a look at the 10 items that I've chosen and you're going to vote for your top five. Those are the five items that you actually want to see me risk at all. Because guys, if it's 99 cents with free shipping, eBay's getting a cut. I have to pay shipping. I could lose a lot of money here depending on the items that I've chosen, the value of those items, or you could really gain because my eBay is linked below and you can head right over there and start bidding on these items and you might score something really awesome. And between me and 30 other resellers doing this challenge, you're going to have the opportunity to buy some really cool stuff because you know what? This is a challenge for us as resellers. This is a challenge that I don't intend to lose because the losers all have to send the winner a free thrifted item. So not only are all the losers potentially out the money that they lost in the eBay auctions, but then we're also out because we have to send the winner Guys, I am going to be the winner, so I shouldn't even use that vocabulary, right? They will all have to send me an item that they thrifted that I can either sell or keep. I may just keep all the spoils, but I won't be keeping anything if you guys don't help me win. So I need you to take a look at the 10 items that I've thrifted. And some of these I just pulled out of my death pile and I need you to help me pick five items that will bring the most money. Now you might just want to pick five items that you want a chance to bid on 99 cents with free shipping. It's kind of scary. Here's how you can find all of the other resellers that are involved and you can also go vote on their videos that again drop simultaneously today. So if you're watching this, all of their videos are live right now as well. They all came um, to YouTube today at 1130 Eastern Time. Um, you can check my description below and boy is it a lengthy one because you will find a link to every single channel that is participating. Or you can go to the YouTube search bar and search, now this is important, hashtag, don't forget the hashtag, you can search hashtag vote auction 99. Vote auction 99. That is also in my title and is probably going to appear in blue, which is a clickable text. So if you click that, you're going to see a playlist of every single video that all of the collaborators um, have presented today. So um, guys, I... I really need you to vote. I need you to vote with some type of reseller eBay expertise to help me figure out which item is going to go for the most money because there's a lot on the line here, okay? And I don't want to lose money. And I tried very hard to pick items that I thought would actually sell well at auction, but I don't know. I picked some valuable things. Um, anyway, the voting closes by Friday because all of our auction items will go up on Sunday and they will be a seven day auction. Um, so yeah, you will be able to actually come back to this channel on Sunday and the link to my items will be below in the description and you can click on all of them. You can see which ones won. You can go to my eBay and bid on them and maybe pick them up for 99 cents for free shipping. Take it easy on me folks. Anyway, so yeah, be sure to vote by Friday so you have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to share this video with whoever you'd like to, check out the other channels, and definitely vote. There are some really big channels involved in this, and then there are also some small and growing channels that it would be so super cool as a community if you guys would head to their channels as well, subscribe, and vote on their items. So without further ado, do you want to see the items that I picked? Remember, whoever sells their items for the most money wins, okay? 
help me get the thrifted prizes. Let's see the first thing in no particular order. Okay. The first thing that I have, I'm going to clean her up a bit, but this is actually not a cabbage patch. You guys see me sell cabbage patches a lot. This doll is called Heavenly Kids. Now she's from uh, 1984, so kind of like a cabbage patch knockoff, but if you know the very soiled history of cabbage patch, cabbage patch themselves is quite the knockoff. So a little bit of controversy around some of these other soft body dolls, but isn't she beautiful? She has a handmade dress on and and she has little handmade panties like little bloomers there original tags and she has yarn hair so she is the first option so you can just write doll she is the only doll if you would like to see this beautiful doll auctioned off for 99 cents with free shipping I bought her a little while ago and haven't listed her but I think she's beautiful if I were a doll I'd want to look like you okay the next item that I have is this pair of Levi's shorts so um you know we're approaching summertime and warmer weather these are leave these are Levi's 100% cotton, actually assembled in Guatemala, but definitely a vintage pair. You can see the beautiful paper tags here. And yeah, they are just a real simple little Levi short. So I would imagine 99 cents free shipping. These will look pretty appealing. I would hate to lose out um, much on these because I think if I just listed them traditionally, I could at least get $30 for them. Um, so I hate to lose $30 and I hate to lose the shipping on these. So I hope they don't go for 99 cents. But if you're interested in seeing this pair go up for auction, comment Levi's. Guys, in my last haul video, which was all shoes, I showed you these Birkenstocks and I said that they were my worst pickup of the day because they had these dirty bottoms and I did have some comments that um you know Birkenstocks followers and Birkenstocks wearers are not going to care about the bottoms so you know what I want to throw these up for auction 99 cents with free shipping for a pair of men's Birkenstocks they're really nice they cleaned up very very nicely it's just that someone walked through some type of a soil that is ashy and embedded into there so these are a men's size 44. If you would like to see the Burks go up, comment Burks. All right. Next item that I have is a watch. This is a really cool vintage women's watch. This particular watch is Christian Benet is the brand and it has stones here and I have not tested any of these stones to see what they are. I haven't seen anything that indicates that it's a precious metal, but this beautiful women's vintage watch. If you'd like to see the watch go up, comment watch. That was simple enough, right? You're not going to believe this next item that I have decided, if you vote, to auction off for 99 cents with free shipping. It's large and it's in the floor. Let me get it picked up. Have I made a mistake here? These PlayStation Rock Band drums with the foot pedal. Guys, I thrifted these a little while ago. I showed them to you in a haul video and I still haven't listed them. I do have the drumsticks as well. Um, and these are model, let me tell you, 822148. And so they are PlayStation. Um, I'm not really even sure which PlayStation. I have to find that out, but I do have the model number, so should be easy to find out. But I'm not really afraid about listing these at auction. I think that they'll clearly go for over 99 cents with free shipping. But if they don't, like, you know how expensive it is to ship something like this. I don't know. These are either going to be my doom or possibly the thing that causes me to win. Because it is whoever sells their items for the most money, right? So should I auction off the, the rock band drum sets? Comment rock band if you want to see those auctioned. Okay, another really cool item here, and I do have to clean this up. Um, this is a travel breast pump. And um, I actually bought this secondhand from someone um, for my last son. And let me tell you that this thing is a little heavy. Let me just weigh it real quick. This weighs five pounds. So if this goes for 99 cents with free shipping, it's not gonna be really cool. But if this goes for 99 cents with free shipping, I am just gonna hope that it goes to a mother that really needs a nice breast pump. So you unzip the, um, the bottom here 
and I don't have any of the like the um, hoses or anything obviously but um, there is a breast pump in there and it's a backpack style so if you think that I should auction off this breast pump it's Medela and I do have a few things in it see like these are the tubes that you would have to buy to go with it but no one would want to use those used anyway because like your breast milk has been in there but I just thought that this was kind of an interesting thing um, to, to offer up at this auction because um, sometimes just the availability for women to pump isn't there because breast pumps are so expensive. So I would be cool with whatever price this goes for if it meant going to a mom that just wants to nurse her baby but maybe can't afford a breast pump. So um, yeah, comment breast pump if you think that I should put that in there an interesting thing I guarantee you none of the other 30 other resellers are going to be putting up a breast pump as an option I have this really cool football helmet it doesn't fit me it's made for a child we'll say it's made for a child if you say my head is big again that's just not even nice um, all right so this is a Franklin vintage st. Louis Rams helmet it's really really cool it's not in the greatest condition guys this thing's probably from the 80s um, it's seen some better days, but I just thought, you know, the, the Rams aren't in St. Louis anymore. So to a collector, this may go for something. Um, it's missing the padding inside, but it's just like a cheap little kid's play helmet. It's not really meant, I mean, if anything, maybe for some kind of little league like this is not protecting anyone. So it would look beautiful up on someone's shelf. And I think a 99 cents free shipping, this is kind of a safer bet because it doesn't weigh a whole lot and um, it's taking up space. So... Do you think I should auction this off? If you do, then comment helmet or yeah, just comment helmet. Okay, I have three more items. I, I haven't been keeping track, but hopefully you have. I'm pretty sure I have three more items. <sighs> this is another item that I'm not sure if I should be auctioning off. These are a size 38, 34. Are you ready? Tommy Hilfiger cargo. Look at this with the flag hammer pocket here. So Tommy Hilfiger men's cargo pants, 38, 34. That's the only thing with them being, I mean, I'm glad that they're a larger size, but they're very size specific. It's a seven day auction. So if someone looking for this size is not looking in those seven days, they could go for 99 cents with free shipping. I don't want them to go for 99 cents with free shipping. So um, yeah, help me come bid these up if these are, are what you think should be in the auction. If you feel like these jeans and they're in incredible condition, if you feel like these jeans should be one of my auction items, then comment Tommy, all right? <laughs> okay, two more items. Okay. Um, a couple videos ago, I talked to you about these large um, beach balls and the really weird idea that they go for a lot of money and I'm still not exactly sure why. Um, I thought, well, why not see exactly how much a buyer actually is willing to pay for one of these 48 inch beach balls? Um, I mean, like I've seen reseller, resellers get close to $200 for these, but I've had mine listed for a little while and nobody's really made any offer. So I think that this one would be better as like a reseller experiment for all of us. And we'll all know exactly how much someone is willing to pay for something like this. So if you want to know as much as I want to know, then say beach ball. Okay. This next item, and I actually do have one more item after this, I forgot. I was looking around for it because I was thinking, wait, that's only nine items, but I have one more item after this. It's really cool. Um, so this is uh, the complete Hank Williams Jr. Um, CD set. So it's a three CD set, and it has also, um, I guess, maybe the lyrics or something in here. I don't know. Um, Lots of good songs on here. I Fought the Law, Family Tradition. Um, yeah. Oh, Kalijah is on here, but it's not Charlie Pride's Kalijah. Anyway, so if you think that I should put this three CD set on there, then comment Hank Williams. The last item that is an option, I actually wanted this to be kind of like a special treat for the viewers and also for all of the resellers that are helping with this type of... Um, 
uh, with this type of a challenge. So um, let me see real quick if I can find an example because I want to be able to show you guys an example. But if you follow, um, for instance, if you follow Harry Tornado, recently I painted a picture and sent to him this um, like faceless watercolor. And I've painted these and um, I never accept money for these. I paint these strictly for trying to, to get some examples pulled up. I paint these strictly for charity whenever I paint them or as gifts for people. So I would like to offer up a faceless watercolor portrait. Here's one example. Um, so this was like, like folks provide a picture and then I paint these faceless pictures of their family with watercolors. So there's a family photo there. I don't mind showing you these because all of these people are faceless. Um, but I just really enjoy trying to capture people's personalities. This one was so fun. I enjoy trying to capture their personalities without being able to paint their faces. Let me show you what that one looks like. My, my camera likes to focus on faces, so it's totally messed up right now. But anyway, I thought, how cool would that be to offer up for auction um, one of these custom family watercolors and 100% um, of the proceeds from this since I don't like taking money for my artwork 100% of the proceeds would go to the children's home in my county and the children's home is meant to be a temporary placement for foster children or emergency placement so I just thought that it would be really really fitting to paint a picture of your family and um, take the money that you paid for that to help get these kids um, with their family whether that's reunification or with their forever family um so yeah that's what i want to offer up as my 10th item and i really hope that you guys would choose that because a i really want to paint one of your families and b i think that that is more meaningful than probably anything else in this challenge truly um this particular painting let me share a story about this one real quick so this particular painting, the girl gave it to me and she said, um, the, the guy in the fedora there, he um, was obviously the father of this family. And he passed away not long, I think, after the photo was taken. And the baby there, the little girl, um, she doesn't really have a, a ton of memories of him. And um, the girl that asked me to paint this, um, that's her aunt, I believe. I hope I'm getting all the stories still correct because it's been a little while, but that was her aunt. And so she had this painted for her aunt. And um, she said that her aunt was in tears when she saw it. Um, anyway, so that's my 10th item. I want to offer up a custom watercolor portrait. And maybe you have a family photo that you would like to have painted. And you can just head over to eBay and 99 cents with free shipping until it's bid up. And if you don't bid anything else up, like I'd rather lose money and see that one be bid up because 100% of the proceeds, like I say, is going to go straight to the um, children's home in my county, which I just think I couldn't find a more fitting charity and, um, yeah, so if you think that that one should be in there and you do, then comment watercolor. Oh my gosh, guys, there's so many items. So we got the rock band drum set, the beach ball, the Tommy Hilfiger pants, the Levi shorts, the Birkenstocks, the doll, the breast pump, the watercolor portrait, the watch, and, um, oh, I already said watercolor portrait, the Hank Williams Jr. set, and the Rams helmet. I think I got 10 items. Who knows, maybe I put 11 in there. I need you to vote for five, that's the point, all right? So vote below for your five items that you think that I should auction off on Sunday, starting at 99 cents with free shipping. I hope that I'm not in trouble here. I told my husband I was gonna auction off this drum set if you guys voted for it, and his eyes were like this. He was like, uh. I said, honey, it's gonna go for more than that, don't worry. <laughs> Nobody does like 99 cent auctions on eBay anymore. Like I think that's pretty universal that no, we do not do that, especially not with free shipping. <sighs> you ever wonder like, why did you get yourself signed up for something? I need you guys to help me out with this, okay? Comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the description, check out the hashtag. Um, head to Courtney's channel and all of the other channels. Boris and Natasha are doing this also. Um, so definitely head over to Boris and Natasha, Willen and Dylan, special shout out to them because they're my BFFs. And um, you guys, check out everybody that's doing this. Um, Joey Bada Bing is in this. 
Um, let's see, Yard Sales and Dreams is in this. Um, there are just so many, so many really good channels. Uh, they're all linked down below in the description. If I keep trying to name people, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to remember everybody and I'm not going to. So just check them out. Thanks for watching. God bless you in a big, huge, tremendous way. You're awesome. And remember, treat your business like your business. Oh, and if you're new here, subscribe. Like, like this video if you like this video. Share this video. I'd love to have you around. God bless you guys.